One of the most basic things to understand about the Christian life is that it's filled with trials and difficulties. That the expectation that we might have early in our Christian life that it's all going to be joy and all our prayers are going to be answered and there are going to be no difficulties, I'm going to conquer the world, uh, is a false one. And it's through many tribulations that we enter the kingdom of God. That was one of Paul's first lessons that he learned um, as a missionary. The book of Job for me has been something of a personal journey, not because I've experienced great trials in my own life, but I've been a pastor witnessing great severe trials in the lives of some of the godliest of God's people and having no particular answer to give them when they ask the question, why, or why me? The book of Job in itself is somewhat difficult in that it doesn't actually give you an answer as to personal suffering. What it does is to point you to God and say it's not important that you understand why you're suffering. What is, what's important is that God understands it, that you trust him. And, and that for me was a key really to, to answering the problem of pain and suffering, at least on a personal level, in the lives of individuals. I also found that reading many of the Puritans, for example, who were masters in exegeting pain and suffering, who, who understood that, that life is about self-denial and cross-bearing and is also a fight. Uh, for, for me, Pilgrim's Progress, Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress became a very important book and, and I now say these days that every Christian next to the Bible should read and study Pilgrim's Progress part one and part two. But the imagery that Bunyan gives you of a soldier armed with a weapon in his hand and, and meeting Apollyon and enemies along the way is one that prepares us in advance for trials that are to come. Of course, the answer to suffering is always in the gospel. You know, why I individually suffer, I don't know. Sometimes we suffer because we sin, sometimes we suffer because of issues that are known only to God. But in Jesus Christ, there is always assurance that even in the darkest of places, he loves me. Because Jesus died for me and shed his blood for me and rose for me and, and that can never be taken away.